Hi, I am Miss Peterson. I'm the PE teacher at Weaver Elementary, and we're going to start going through the mechanics of an overhand throw. So, um, in the past, we've talked about some of the things that are important about throwing, and at my school, we've done what we call TLC. So, we make a T with our arms, whichever hand we throw with, which is our dominant hand, we make an L, and then our hand shape makes a C to hold the ball. Now, you may or may not have a football, that's fine. You can use what you need in your throwing, but we're gonna talk about the mechanics of whatever ball you're, pl you're planning to use. So, make your T, make your L with your throwing hand, use a C to hold your ball, and then your other hand that's not holding the ball, that's gonna be our radar detector. So we're gonna turn towards our target, which right now for me is Mr. Kappas from Eagle Point. No, 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 no. What this does is it gets us sideways, so that we're sideways to our target. That's how we want to be. And then we're going to go three, two, one, to throw. Now, when we throw, we talked about this in our last lesson with underhand, but with overhand too, it's important that we're stepping with our opposite foot. So if I throw with my right hand, I need to step with my left foot. Now, for those of you that are lefties, you do the same part. Your TLC is still the same, the ball's in your left hand. And when you turn to face your target, use your radar detector, your other hand's your radar detector, that helps you get sideways to your target. And then you're gonna do three, two, one, to throw. Now when you throw, that ball is gonna be in that L-shaped arm, and you're gonna step with your opposite foot, and it is gonna come across your body, and you're gonna finish at your opposite hip or thigh. Okay, so that's how the motion of your arm's gonna come through. Okay, now I'm gonna switch it back because I throw with my right hand. So let's do it together again. T, L, C, radar detector, so you're sideways to your target. Three, two, one, st throw. Now you notice the st throw happens quicker and it did when we did underhand too. That's the same with overhand. One important thing we want to avoid is to make sure that we don't step and then wait to throw because that will throw off our momentum for the ball, okay? So I don't wanna say step and throw. I want that to be one fluid motion. So T, L, C, turn to your target, three, two, one, to throw. Okay, so it's all one fluid motion. Now you're not gonna do the TLC every time. This is just to get you into the right position. When you throw, you're going to naturally go into this position, step throw, and step throw it to your target. So if you're comfortable with those instructions, go ahead and pause the video, and we're going to start to practice. If not, you can rewind it, but I think we're ready. Yeah, let's get some practice in. <laughs>